Okay, so I think we'll get started. Um, hope everybody's feeling good today. Um, so in our Pilates class today, we're going to do um, a relatively beginner's version of Pilates, um, working most of the body. Now, just to go over a couple of things to think about today, um, your breathing. So if you're a regular yoga um, participant, the breathing is very different. So I'd like you to think about breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you breathe in through the nose, you're thinking about filling up the back and sides of your rib cage and as you breathe out through your mouth that's when you're connecting your deep abdominals a hip bone to hip bone connection and then squeezing and lifting your pelvic floor and then at the same time you we execute the uh, the move usually so that's kind of how we're going to think about it today i don't want you to get too bogged down on the breathing and if you miss that abdominal connection the pelvic floor connection you're finding that's really difficult to to bring it all together please don't worry about it. Pilates is so much to think about. So today, let's just get moving, let's get started and just enjoy it. Let your body move and feel good. So we're gonna start standing and you're gonna face your mat and we'll just set the posture, our posture through our body um, to start with. So you're gonna bring your feet into a parallel and hip distant position. So just find the weight through your body and through your feet and center that weight. Spread your 10 toes on the mat and get that connection through all 10 toes. Okay, find that center. Softly bend through your knees. So try not to lock out the knee joint there, just a little bend. And then lift out of your waist, out of your pelvis. Think about the length you're creating now through your spine. So draw your belly in, lift up through the chest, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Let your arms hang down by your side. Just wriggle the fingers a couple of times and just relax the fingers, let the fingers just hang. Now your chin is up and your eye line is looking straight ahead. And we'll start with a couple of breaths. So inhale through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, find that deep connection, that hip bone to hip bone connection, and then squeeze and lift your pelvic floor. We'll do that two more times. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and pull those deep abdominals in, squeeze the pelvic floor. One more time, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, find that deep connection. Next time we're gonna take it into a roll down, standing roll down. So take your breath in. As you breathe out, get that connection, suck your belly in, drop your chin to your chest and start to articulate the spine. So we're working the mobility through the spine here. Now as you fold yourself down in two, let your arms hang, let the back of your neck go, crown of the head faces the floor, slowly come through the centre of the spine, just the way that is comfortable. Now keep your knees softly bent here, bring your weight forwards into your toes, so your weight, then that you're having to use your abdominals here to hold you. Now take your breath in, and as you breathe out, suck your belly in, pelvic floor, move from the base of your spine now, and restack all the way to your standing position and bring your head up last, look ahead. One more, down and up like that. Inhale, as you breathe out, drop the chin to the chest. Again, think mobility. Keep the shoulders away from the ears still, but let your arms hang down to the floor. Relax through this. If you find any tension in your spine, hold that point in your roll down and just roll up and down a couple of inches just to try and get rid of that tension through the spine. Then come and fold yourself down to Inhale, and now as you breathe out, again, abdominals, pelvic floor, and restack your bones of the spine, one by one, all the way to your standing. So we're now going to peel down, fold ourselves in two, walk our hands out into an A-frame, which is your downward dog in yoga, and stretch out the back of the legs. So take that breath in, as you breathe out, chin to chest, fold yourself down in two, Look towards your sides and then your knees. Now bend your knees to take your hands onto the floor. Steadily walk the hands out. Place the hands down. Your heels may lift, that's fine. And then just push the heels towards the floor and straighten your legs. I want you to feel the stretch into the backs of the legs. Now push into your hands, the heel of your hands, and push your chest towards your knees. And just breathe into this stretch. Now we're going to stretch one leg at a time. So you're going to push the right heel into the ground or towards the ground and lift the left heel. Now we're going to do this with our breathing. So take a breath in 
As you breathe out, pull your abdominals in and switch that over. The left heel goes towards the ground. You stretch the back of the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, push the right heel towards the ground. So we're walking through the ankles. Keep that going with your breathing. Exhale, switch. Two more. Exhale, switch. See if you can encourage the stretch each time. Last one. Left heel down. Keep pushing down into the hands. Now push the right heel towards the ground. Again, they might lift, that's absolutely fine. Just feel the stretch. And now bend the knees and place the knees onto the mat. Knees come underneath your hips and your wrists come underneath your shoulders. Now, um, if this is uncomfortable on the wrists, we're not doing too many of these. We're just gonna move the spine again. You can come down onto your elbows or maybe up onto your knuckles. So lengthen your spine out. Look down to the mat, push into your hands. Take a breath in. Now as you breathe out, pull your belly away from the mat. So you're gauging those deep abdominals. Now bring your tailbone under and ripple through your spine into a rounded position. Shoulder blades push up to the ceiling, your head drops down, you look to your belly. Inhale, as you breathe out, ripple back through the spine to that lengthen position. Look straight down. And again, breathe out, round the spine. So pull your pubic bone towards your belly button here. Lengthen that lower back, ripple the spine. Really push into the hands and push the shoulder blades to the ceiling. Inhale, and as you breathe out, suck your belly in. And then unfurl the lower back. Find that lengthen position. One more time, round the spine, pubic bone to belly button. Find that length in that lower back and stretch. Shoulder blades up, head drops. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, unfurl that lower back, find that lengthened spine, look straight down. And then sit back on your heels, give your wrists a roll, give your shoulders a roll, and now take your feet to the other end of the mat. So we're going to sit on our, on our glutes, find our sit bones, and then we're gonna fire up the abdominals as we curl to a half roll back position. So. Find those sit bones, the bones in the, in the bottom, and then sit tall from there. Your feet are just out in front of you. And what we'll do today is we'll have the knees together and the feet flex, so the heels are down. So what I'd like you to do with our position today is squeeze your legs together so we get an inner thigh connection. And that will also help to fire up the pelvic floor. So reach your arms out in front of you. Your palms are facing each other. Your arms are about shoulder height, maybe a little bit lower. Now lift up through the chest, find the length in your spine, take your breath in. Now as you breathe out, suck your belly in, squeeze your knees, tilt your pelvis, come off of your sit bones, so you're tucking under, we're getting this length of your lower back, and you're feeling this biting point in your abdominals. Now inhale and hold, you don't have to squeeze as you inhale the knees, and now as you breathe out, squeeze the knees, squeeze your abs, pelvic floor, and then find your sit bones again, and sit tall. And again, breathe out, tuck under. So it's your pelvis is, that is moving. Your shoulders are coming with you. You're looking straight ahead. You should be able to feel your inner thighs firing up here as you squeeze your legs together. Inhale, hold. Exhale, squeeze and restack. Two more just like that. So breathing out, squeeze the knees, tuck under, pull your belly in, find that pelvic floor. Inhale to hold. Exhale to squeeze and restack. Find your sit bones. Last one. Squeeze everything. Breathe out. Tuck under. Come off those sit bones. Looking straight ahead. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Squeeze again. Find your inner thighs, pelvic floor, deep abdominals. And then restack. Sit tall. Now we go down and we're going to hold it. Now if you find any niggles in the back, just don't go so low. Or you can just continue with what we're doing if it's, if it's not working for you staying down. So take a breath in. With your out breath, squeeze and tuck under. Find that length, find that biting point. Now hold, breathe in. As you breathe out, your right arm goes up, your left arm goes down. Inhale. As you breathe out, again, squeeze and switch the arms over. The left arm goes up, the right arm goes down. Little breath in, and as you breathe out, switch. As you breathe out, switch again. Each time you switch, you breathe out, squeeze your knees, inner thighs, pelvic floor. Little breath in as you hold, squeeze. Let's go for four. Come up if you need to and take your stretch. Three. We have two more. 
two, last one. Arms go out in front of you, take a little breath in and as you breathe out, restack, come on up. And then fold over your legs, feet flat, take a breather and a stretch. Excellent, well done. That gets uh, the abdominals fired up. So take your um, glutes a little bit closer to the end of the mat. We're going to peel down to a lying position. Hands just behind your thighs. Sit tall, breathe in, and as you breathe out, tilt and tuck under. And come down bone by bone, nice and slowly, as slow as you can, with control. Feet in towards the pelvis. So your knees are going to stay bent to start with, and your feet down. Arms by your side. So we're going to be moving the opposite arm and leg here. Now find your neutral spine, that's your natural curve in your lower back. Pubic bone and hip bones are level. So, stay neutral, no arching of your lower back, okay? So, breathe in with your out breath. Straighten your left leg out, slide it along the mat, and take your right arm up above your head, point to your ankle. Inhale, return back to that starting position. Now, as you breathe out, the right leg slides, the left arm reaches above the head by your ear. Inhale, return, keep that going. So you're going to breathe out, pull your abs in, squeeze your pelvic floor, slide, squeeze your thigh and point your ankle. See if you can try and reach your toes to the wall ahead. Inhale, return. Exhale, right leg, left arm. Okay, so just notice what might be going on in your body as you're working through these exercises. We want the hips to stay level. We're working this pelvic stability and the trunk stability. And we'll go for two more here. Breathing out, slide, right leg, left arm. Really reach and lengthen your body here. Keep just tuck, the chin tucked towards the chest so we've got length in the back of the neck. If you're finding this position uncomfortable, you can always have a little cushion behind your head. So we're gonna progress this on. Now bring one leg up to tabletop and then the other. Now if this is too much with tabletop legs, you place your feet back down and you work with the feet down. Again, try and stay in a neutral position if you can. Breathe in with your out breath. Left leg, right arm extends away. Really squeeze your thigh, point your ankle. Inhale, come back. Exhale, right leg, left arm. Lengthen the body. Inhale, return. Okay, keep that going. If you need to take a breather, you can bring your feet down one at a time, reset your abdominals, and then come back into it when you're ready. When you extend your arms and legs away, watch that your lower back is not lifting off of the mat. Now, if you feel there is a little lift, maybe take the legs a little bit higher to the ceiling, or maybe take a break and just give your abdominals a rest. Okay, let's go for, after this next one, We'll go for one more on either side, just to make sure you're even. If you're not on the same leg as me, just make sure you've done the same amount on either arm and leg. Last one, really squeeze and lengthen. Inhale, return, and give your knees a hug in towards your chest, hands onto the shins or the knees, and just gently rock side to side. Okay, so last little abdominal exercise here, we're going into a a classic single leg stretch. So take your feet flat onto the mat, bring your right knee in towards your chest and take your hands just over the knee, shin area, and then straighten your left leg out along the mat. Take a breath in, we're gonna work in imprint now, so we're gonna push your lower back into the mat. And as you breathe out, bring your upper body up and look towards your abdominals. Now lift your left leg off of the mat and exhale, switch the legs over. Little breath in, and as you breathe out, switch again. Now, if it goes into your neck, take your head back down onto the mat, and keep this switch going with your breathing. Every time you switch, abs, pelvic floor, pull that bent knee in, squeeze that straight leg out. So you really wanna be thinking about this thigh, this length of the leg each time. And we'll go for six, breathe out, five, breathe out, switch again, four, nearly there, three, last two, and one, excellent work everybody, 
Lie back down onto your mat, grab your knees, again rock side to side, back and forth, whatever feels good for you. And then you're going to roll over onto one side. So if you mirror me and you lie onto your right side, and then you can just rest your head into your underneath hand. So if that's not comfortable for anybody, you can have a cushion and just lie on the cushion with your underneath arm stretched out. So we're going into a clam, we're going to work our glutes, get our pelvic stability. The knees are bent, the knees are just in front of the body. Your um, feet are tucked in behind the knees. Your hips are in line with your shoulders. Take your hand, or top hand, and just place it onto your hip bone and span the fingers around towards your glute. So this is going to help you feel what's going on in this area. So looking straight ahead, take a breath in. With your out breath, connect your deep abdominals. Squeeze this glute and just lift your top knee up. Now inhale, lower the knee down and return. So keeping that going, exhale, lift the knee and inhale to lower. Now you can see my knee is not lifting very high. We want to avoid this top hip rolling back. So if you've got your thumb on this top hip, it's really great to be able to feel what's going on. So if you feel the knee is rolling back, just don't take the knee up so high. So breathing out to lift and squeeze, and you can feel this glute firing up with your fingers, hopefully, if you've span them round just behind. Okay, so keep that going with your exhale. Lift, find those abdominals, pelvic floor every time, and lower. So we want to feel this opening in the hip as well as we lift the knee, and lower. Two more just like this, and we'll progress it on again. So last one, breathing out to lift, really squeeze into that glute and inhale lower and now we add on. So next time you breathe out, you lift your knee and you straighten the leg out, squeezing this thigh. Inhale to bend, the toes find each other and the knees close. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, bend and lower. Great, keep that going. Can your toes find each other? Inhale, bend and lower. So abs, pelvic floor, thighs, you should feel those glutes working really hard here. See if you can point your ankle, helps to create that length. So thinking about those toes, trying to reach away from the body. Are your hips still stacked and your pelvis stable? Let's go for two more. Breathe out, abs, still remembering to pull their belly button in towards your spine. Last one, exhale, lift and squeeze, hold it there, squeeze that thigh, squeeze that glute, static hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one excellent work bend your knee close the knees down give your glute a bit of a rub and then sit yourself up and then take your top leg your left leg and bring it in front of you over your underneath leg and you're just going to give that leg a hug with your right arm and rotate and twist your body so i just want you to feel the stretch into your left glute here as you pull this left knee in Okay, so you're mirroring me. So just look behind you. Your um, sit bone, your glute is probably off of the mat at the moment. So just hold it there and pull that knee in and breathe. And as you breathe out, see if you can pull the knee in a little bit more and deepen the stretch into that glute. Last breath. And then relax there. So just take that leg carefully, uncross it and swing your legs over in the other direction. And then you're coming down onto your mat. I'm gonna repeat the same on the other side. So settle down onto the mat. Make sure your hip and your shoulders are in line. Your head is resting in the underneath hand or you have your cushion. Hips are stacked, your knees are in front of you unbent and your feet are just tucked behind. Okay, so again, let's have your thumbs just onto your hip bone, fingers spanning behind. Take a little breath in through your nose and as you breathe out, connect your abdominals, pelvic floor, squeeze this glute and lift your knee. Inhale to lower 
and again breathing out to lift and squeeze and inhale to lower so again on this side just um, play around with the, where your hand is if you can feel the glute firing up that's great so when you have that just make sure then your knee is not going too high up and your top hip is not then rolling back okay it's not a huge move it doesn't have to be a huge move okay so breathing out to lift keep that flow going with your breathing it's a good one to start practicing your breathing so breathing in through the nose to close breathing out through the mouth pulling the abs in to lift the knee let's go for two more before we progress this exercise on last one All right, close the knee down. Next time, as you breathe out, lift your knee. Keep your ankle pointed and squeeze your thigh. Inhale to bend, toes come together, knees come together. And again, breathe out, lift, extend. Inhale, bend and lower. Abs, pelvic floor. Don't forget those. So easy just to carry on with your exercise and Forget about those internal muscles. Squeeze that thigh, lengthen that leg away, reach out of your hip every time. All right, let's go for three more. Inhale, bend and lower. Last two, lift, squeeze. Fill that glute with your fingers. Last one. Hold your leg extended, squeeze your thigh, reach your leg away, holding for your eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bend, close, and pop yourself all the way up to seated. Take your leg, top leg, your left leg, all the way over. You can get it over that underneath leg and hug with your left arm, twist the body. Get the sit bone up just for today and pull your knee in towards your chest. Rotate and stretch and breathe. Use your breathing to deepen the stretch. Okay, a couple of breaths. So inhale as you breathe out. Think about your pelvic floor drawing up and in. And then deepen the stretch. Twist a bit more. Hug the knee in. Last breath. Pelvic floor abdominals. And then relax there. Excellent. So taking that um, leg all the way back off of the underneath leg, we're going to come down onto your front and we're going to work some extension. So lie yourself flat down onto your mat. Okay, you're going to have your, your elbows bent and your palms flat onto the mat. And your forehead is hovering off of the mat. Turn your toes out so that you've got a bit of external rotation from your hips. Now push your pubic bone down and we're just going to start with lifting the arms and working into the upper back before we then add the head and chest in. So as I say, pubic bone down, inhale, as you breathe out, pull your belly up and away from the mat, squeeze into your glutes. And then lift your arms up and squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Find this opening through your chest. Inhale, bring the hands down. And now, as you breathe out, you're going to lift your head and chest up. So we're going to alternate between the two. Inhale, bring the head and chest down. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, abs, pelvic floor. Lift your arms, squeeze your upper back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, bring the hands down. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, abs, pelvic floor, and lift the chest, just a small extension. Keep looking straight down at your mat. Inhale, come down. Exhale, glutes, abs, pelvic floor, lift your arms, squeeze your upper back, find those upper back muscles. Really important to strengthen these to help your posture. Inhale, come down. Exhale, squeeze the glutes again, abs, pelvic floor, lift the chest. So now you're warming up in extension, you might be able to push into the hands and come a little higher. It's not a huge extension dropping into the lower back though. Squeeze the glutes, lift the arms. Inhale down. Now lift the head and chest. 
So it's the thoracic, the upper spine extension that we're focusing on here, not the lower back, okay? So keep that pubic bone down, keep that length of the lower back. Keep switching between the two, arms, hands down, head and chest, lift, pubic bone down. One more of each, hands come up, squeeze your upper back. Hands come down, head and chest lifts. And down. Okay, hold your head hovering off of the mat, still looking straight down. And now we're going to work the legs. So we're going to do a single leg lift. So still pubic bone down, breathe in. As you breathe out, squeeze your right glute, keep your hip bone down, and just hover those feet from the floor, lifting the leg. Now inhale, drop that leg down. And exhale, squeeze your left glute, hover the toes and lift and reach that leg away. Inhale down, keep that switch going, right leg lift, squeeze, lengthen the leg away. Just keep your pelvis nice and still. Now over to the left side, squeeze your abs, pelvic floor, squeeze your left glute. Inhale lower, over to the right leg, squeeze. And inhale to lower, left leg, abs, pelvic floor, squeeze and lift. And we go for one more on either side. Breathe out, squeeze and lift. You should feel your right glute there. Inhale, lower. Last one on the left side, abs first. Belly button should be pushing, up, coming away from the mat, not pushing down. Inhale, down. Okay, so just rock your hips side to side and then place your hands flat on the mat. Push yourself all the way up, bend your knees and we're gonna take a child's pose stretch here. So drop the glutes onto the heels. If you find that connection is a difficult one, you can grab hold of a cushion, sit on a cushion. But what I want you to do right now is find a stretch into this lower back and middle area back. So we're gonna tuck your toe under so think about a little pelvic tilt to start with, and this will create this length here of your lower back. Now have the hands just down onto the mat, and once you have that length and you've got your tail tucked under, start to drop your chest towards your thighs, and just take a few breaths here. We don't have to go so low today. Just a little bit of a stretch into the back here. One more breath. and then we stack and come up to a kneeling position. So you're gonna turn and sit and mirror me again. So you're gonna have your left foot in towards your body with your knee bent and your right leg out straight. Find your sit bones, we're gonna take this into a really amazing stretch. So from your sit bones, sit up tall, think about your posture, you're lifted up and out of your waist your collarbone is wide. Take your arms just out on the T, about shoulder height. Now we're going to take a stretch to the right and reach down the right leg. Keep the ankle flexed here and that will help with the stretch into the lower part of your leg. Now take your breath in, roll the shoulders back and down and as you breathe out, reach the right arm down the leg and the left arm up and over the body. Now as you come into this big side stretch towards your right leg, Keep your left sit bone down. You may have felt it lift up as you go into the stretch. Now push it back down and bring the body a little bit further up if you need to, but keep that connection there. Now take a little breath in and as you breathe out, sit tall. And again, breathe out, stretch. See how far you can reach your right hand down your right leg and how far you can take this left arm over your head. Come on back up. This time I'm going to add a bit of rotation. So side stretch. See how far you can grab hold of your leg. So behind your knee, your thigh, calf, or can you get your foot and your toes and hold. Whatever you're holding on to, make sure that the ankle is still flexed. Now breathe in. As you breathe out, rotate your body towards your right leg, dropping your shoulder down and looking towards your thigh. Hold that rotation and see how high you, far you can get this left hand. 
Now untwist. I'm going to do that two more times. Breathe out, rotate and twist down. You feel an amazing stretch into your body and especially into your lower back and the sides of your lower back here. Untwist. Last one. Twist again. Keep pushing down in that left hip. Untwist. And then bring yourself all the way up to seated with your arms with a T. Lift your spine, lengthen it all the way up to the ceiling. Relax your arms down. Switch your legs over in the other direction. We'll do the same again. So find your sit bones. Shuffle around to find them if you need to. And then lift up and out of your pelvis. Arms in your T. We're going into, uh, to the left and sliding down the left leg. So take your breath in with your out breath, reach and stretch. Flex the ankle, right arm goes up and over. Find that side stretch and make sure this sit bone is down, opposite sit bone. Now come on up, arms are wide. Breathe out, stretch again. Breathe. Restack. And again, breathe, side stretch. Use your out breath, use your pelvic floor, your deep abdominals to help you stretch. Come on up, and now we're going to rotate. So breathe out, reach, grab hold of the back of the leg or the foot, wherever you can. And now as you breathe out, rotate. Look down towards your left thigh, reach your right arm towards your foot. Okay, unrotate, feel that amazing stretch into the low back and the sides of the body, twist again. One more, unrotate, and look towards your leg. Unrotate again, and then sit tall, find your T arms, and then relax them down. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Now bring your knees um, into a bent position on the mat. Have your hands down onto the mat, and tuck your toes under. Okay, so we're going to go back into um, a couple of the exercises we did at the beginning. just want you to notice um, how your body feels in comparison to how you started, maybe, and hopefully you feel a little bit more lengthened and flexible. So hands are, your wrists are right underneath your shoulders, your toes are tucked, and your knees are around underneath the hips. Now, take your breath in. Now, as you breathe out, push your hips to the ceiling and find that A-frame position. So you're aiming again for those heels to go into the mat here. Okay, breathe. Push into your hands. Push your chest towards your knees. Just make sure your feet are about hip distance. So if you need to open them, the feet a little bit wider, just do that now. And then we're going to walk through the feet again with our breathing. So take a little breath in. As you breathe out, Bend the right knee, lift that heel. And then as you breathe out again, switch those legs over. Push the right heel down into the ground. Breathe out, push the left heel down. Feel that stretch. And then the right heel. Left. And we do two more. Breathing out to switch. Breathe out and switch one last time. Both heels down chest and knees, steady walk of the hands in towards the feet to fold yourself in two. So if we're going to peel up to standing, and again, I want you to notice the difference in your spine now as you peel up standing compared to that first roll down you did. So again, feet hip distance, your knees softly bent, your arms are hanging, your head is hanging. Weight comes into the toes slightly. Take your hands off of the floor, so all your weights in your feet. Take your breath in and with your out breath, pull your abs in. Start to move from the tail and restack the spine bone by bone from the base of your spine. Nice and controlled all the way up to standing, bringing your head back up. In fact, we will do one more roll down and up. Okay, so take your breath in and with your out breath, drop the chin. Crown of the head faces the floor. Let the arms hang. Just release anything that needs releasing here. Enjoy that mobility through the spine. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, you should feel 
much more free and loose so as you come up to your standing position bringing your head on top of the spine and we will finish then with that setting of your posture so find the center through your feet walk forwards and backwards just to find that weight spread your toes knees softly bent gently get that deep abdominal connection squeeze and lift your pelvic floor drawing your waist in lifting up through the chest roll the shoulders back and down relax your arms down by your side chin up eyes looking forwards give yourselves a lovely big clap well done everybody i hope you enjoyed that